Jeff Grubb, Games Beat. This week we are looking at the Razer Kraken 7.1 version 2. Uh, it is the latest version of, of Razer's Kraken, uh, one of its best-selling headsets. Uh, this is the 7.1 version as well, so it does surround sound. It's a USB connection. It is $100, and it's out now. Um, let's go ahead and cover it. Uh, let's kind of get into what I like about it. Uh, I think the one thing I like, it, it is very loud and it can mostly handle audio at a really high level uh so that means you're going to get kind of a wall of sound slamming against your ears uh and that, that's what you want um that is going to work on pc and playstation 4 doesn't work with xbox one because it doesn't have that uh, the proprietary compatibility and it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack i'm sorry i got i got a hair in my mouth um a 3.5 millimeter jack, so it's not going to connect directly to your um, uh, to your Xbox One controller or PS4. Uh, but when you when you do have it connected, if you're playing something like Overwatch on PC, it's going to be a, you're going to get a ton of great surround sound. You're going to be able to pick up where people are around you, and uh, it's it sounds pretty impressive. It just sounds uh, like very uh, very bold uh, on the low ends and the high ends, uh, and, and Nothing gets lost too much until you kind of, until things start getting really messy, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, it is also very lightweight and very comfortable, which is another thing that's very important, something that you want to be wearing for hours at a time. This is something you could do with that. It's going to stay in place. It's not going to move around, and yet it's still very lightweight. Um, in terms of what I don't like, however, I don't like necessarily that it's USB only. I know that's kind of... Uh, what some people are going to want. If, if you're in the market, if you're a PC gamer only, uh, PlayStation 4 gamer only, I guess, and you're not, and you're willing to plug it into your console instead of your controller, this is, you know, this could work for you. Uh, if you never listen to a headset outside of the house, this is probably a very good headset for you. Um, I also don't like that the cable is kind of noisy. Um, it kind of reverberates just because of the material. And when it rubs against my shirt, I can hear it. And then just it moving around, I, it kind of echoes in through the headset, and I hear that. Uh, the only th other thing I would say is that it get the noises, the sound gets kind of crunchy, kind of all smushed together when there's a lot happening, when when there's a ton going on, and it's very loud. Um, it kind of has trouble keeping up with the individual channels uh, of audio coming in, uh, so it in, ends up si kind of sounding very messy. Um, and that can be distracting, especially during a you know a hectic firefight. You're gonna maybe lose track of things here and there. The good news is Razer's software is actually pretty useful to uh, kind of go through and set things up, and that does uh, that does make things better, makes things easier. You can set it up, turn down the bass, turn off bass boost, stuff like that. Um, it has built-in mic monitoring. I love that. Uh, it's something I think is very important for people to try to use more often. Uh, but yeah, I would say uh, beyond that, uh, it's still a very good headset. And I I think if you want the surround sound, if that's important to you, if you want something that is lightweight and comfortable that you can wear for a long time, uh, and you're okay with uh, some of the down with uh, some of the um, you know downsides I mentioned, for a hundred dollars, it's a very good headset. Uh, maybe I I think maybe you might get better results from something from like HyperX maybe, but. Uh, at the same time, maybe those aren't your style. I think this is a very good style. You know, it has the chroma, has the black, it has the retractable mic, which I love. Um, pull that out. And actually, let's go ahead and let's test this microphone out right now, actually. All right, hang on. I think, I think it's muting itself when I pull it out. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to switch to this microphone. And there we go. I have the mic monitor on, and now I can hear myself, and it's very weird. So let's choose the razor crack. And here I am. So now you can see that it, I, I'm very loud. I'm very clear. Um, it's a good mic microphone that gets the job done. Not something you're going to be recording voiceovers with. You're not going to be doing a lot of professional audio work with this mic. But when you're online, people will be able to hear you. Uh, you won't sound like a buffoon. Uh, and that's what you want. That's what you want from something like this. So yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It's obviously not as good as the blue, which I'm going to go back to right now to finish up this review. Um, I think let's go ahead and get that set and I'm going to wrap this up. So yeah, like I said, I, I recommend it. It is, um, like I said, maybe there's some better headsets out there at handling the, the concophony of noise that might happen in some games, but this does, it's not like it's doing a bad job. It just, 
isn't quite keeping up in the way that maybe some other headsets do. Um, but I don't know, in terms of comfort, in terms of uh, surround sound, um, I, I really like this headset a lot. So yeah, I think that's going to do it. Uh, Jeff Grubb, GamesBeat, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.